when you see the pink flamingos in the 207 kitchen here at Old Main Studios, it can mean only one thing, that Carrie Altiero from Cafe Miranda in Rockland has landed. He's the owner and chef there. Good to have you back. Thanks for coming in. Well, I'm happy to be here along with the penguins. I mean flamingos. <laughs> we call them the penguins in-house. And we're making a cool dish today here You're at 207. You're making a salad for us. What's special about this salad? Well, this salad is a, is a, a take on the Caesar salad. We call it at Miranda the Etu Brute or Etu Brutus because it kills a Caesar. So here's your classic joke, right? Got it, got it. And we're not filming this on the Ides of March, although beware the Ides of March. Always. Good. If you don't remember your Julius Caesar from uh, high school literature, go back and reread it. All right, where do we begin? Go ask Google right now. Get on it. Get, Get on, on it. it. Get on it. Okay, so essentially, this is a dressing that I came up when I worked in a hotel. I was the pastry chef. Yeah. And the owner called all the chefs into his office and he said, I want you to come up with a Caesar dressing. And I said, I'm a pastry chef, I'm not doing it. So he said, you too, Altiero, I see what you eat. I went, okay, so I said, screw this. I'm going to grab a blender, this stuff, blend all this stuff together and go back to what I was doing. And I won the little contest. You so won I, the pastry contest, I won the, the, the salad, salad contest. contest as pastry chef. So here I am making it for you today. So essentially, we're gonna whip the eggs. Right. And then we're gonna add all the fun stuff we're going to add garlic you know that might not be enough we need some extra okay extra garlic okay and we're going to add some romano cheese okay some basil leaves so this is like little in common with a traditional caesar except to say that we're calling it that but we can get away with that at cafe Miranda. okay and it's all in the blender okay now we're going to hit that oh the sound of uh -oh. it getting in there if we see smoke coming out we'll know we're in trouble and now we're going to emulsify it Essentially, we're making like a fancy mayonnaise here, kind of like an aioli. Okay, we're going to add our lemon juice. That's a good point. This is a, 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 a mayonnaise with a graduate degree. Oh, yes, this is mayonnaise that knows somebody, if you will. There we go. Mayonnaise that knows somebody. We like that. <coughs> okay, so our next thing is we're going to actually mix up our little salad here. All right. So, typically romaine is the, um, is the uh, preferred Caesar. Preferred green. Preferred green. Yeah. So we take this and we just tear it up. The thing is, you don't use a knife on romaine. You tear it up. You want to take a whack at that? You want to rip a couple chunks off of that? Do that. A couple chunks. That's good. Then we throw that out there. Okay, so that went back to you guys. Okay, good enough? I'm not going to waste food like that. Oh, that, that was just the butt of the, uh, my, oh. my staff at Miranda. I was on the line. I would bounce it and try to bean, bean people with Dribble it. Dribble it? Yeah, so it didn't always work out very well. Okay, so because a Caesar always has croutons. We have our fresh focaccia croutons baked in our wood-fired oven at yep. Cafe Miranda this morning. Yep. Then we'll need that radicchio over there. All of it. Go. Red onions. Right in, red, just red onions, not just the cheese. That. Sorry, sorry. And no problem, and then we'll add our dressing. Oh, good. I'm just trying to help here, Carrie. You're doing a great job. <laughs> he's doing a great job. Send your cards and letters right yeah. now to tell him what a great job he's doing. And we don't have to use the backup. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, so we don't have to do that. So now we have- The blender actually worked. The blender worked. We were wondering how it was going to go. So we mix up the dressing. So we have this beautiful basil, garlicky, um, cheesy kind of dressing. Yeah. We'll take those and get rid of those. Okay. okay, we're good. So let's have a plate. It's right in front of you. Allow me to do that. Would yes. you like to put it down there? Well, there is to it. So we have our Etu Brute. Very simple dish. It's in my cookbook. What's that cookbook called? Do you remember? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, forget it. The greatest comfort food in the world? Best comfort food Best on the comfort planet. Best comfort food on the planet. Pretty and, good paraphrasing. And, ding, ding. Sorry. Okay, so. All we, the sales will go to some other author. You my, just lost out. I just lost out. <laughs> so, okay, so when you do a salad, Antonio Miguel Casasanto, back in the 80s, said, Carrie, things don't grow in piles. They grow like this. So when you're making a salad, just do a little hole in the middle. And it doesn't look like a pile of stuff on your plate. OK, I see now yeah. what you're talking about. So now a lot of people put anchovies on Caesar salads. Because yeah. if you cook and people say you order a Caesar, Nine out of ten times, I'll oh, skip the anchovies. Yep, yep. So I skip that whole thing, and I do it with roasted red peppers. Hey, I like that idea. Which gives you a different little flavor profile. Yep. yep. And there should be some cheese, Rob. There's the cheese. I wouldn't steal your cheese. Cheese. Then we put a little stripe of the cheese across it. The Romano. And the pepper, Rob. The pepper. Oh, good golly. And here comes the pepper. And we have made the fabulous Etu Brute with some homemade croutons with beautiful focaccia bread. You can use a French bread or whatever. And right here at the 207 Studios with Rob Caldwell himself. That How lucky am I? It's a nice summer dish. The recipe is on our website. Go to the 207 section of newcentermain.com. You'll find the recipe for this Caesar salad et tu brute. 
And you'll find more information as well about Cafe Miranda in Rockland. And you can also find the recipe, of course, on our mobile app. Kerry, thank you, as always. Pleasure is mine, Rob. Always great to be here at Omain Studios with 207. And we're going to be back in just a moment.